Hello there, people. Destin here, playing Cobalt Call on the highest difficulty level, which isn't that hard. Oh, you need to get 40 different artifacts to unlock this ship, and I found 39 out of 40. We are getting there. We're going for the Ares for now. We'll presumably find a different artifact soon enough. I think I also want to try out Isaac. I do need to win with Drake to unlock Max, so maybe that should be my next objective. And bes besides, we could swap out Perry for Drake, and we would still get attacks. Except different kinds of attacks. Attacks with debuffs. As opposed to... Playing with Isaac, which is going to grant us drones, which more sound like a utility sort of setup. I like the idea of randomizing things, but let's, let's keep that for later. For now, let's get rid of Perry and pick up... Well, we've already played with Isaac technically, though not much. Fine. Fine, let's pick up Drake. Win with Drake, unlock Max, see where that takes us. So Drake gives us debuffs and attacks. Whereas from Riggs, the pilot, you get card draw and something else. What else do we get? Card draw and, and flexible movement, so evades. From Dizzy, we get shields most of the time. What else? Shields and shield manipulation. All right. So Dizzy grants us shields. We do want shields. Riggs grants us evades. We want evades. And then does Drake for damage. If we were to go Dizzy Riggs, Isaac would be going for pretty much a purely defensive setup. Well, not purely. We'd still have means of dealing damage, but we'd mostly just be sandbagging the entire way. Let's begin the time loop. Start run. Core OS Corruption. Must reroute power. Please select boot option. We don't want to get rid of shields because we have a shield expert. <sighs> we don't want the debris. Although we have Riggs to compensate, I guess. And we could cut it. Reasonably quickly. I guess taking one point of debris isn't half bad. Once again, pick it as the first card to cut and you're done. But I think the ballsiest option, and the one I have gone for previously, so the one that can work, is to lose two points of haul. Granted, with Drake on board, this could kill us, but let's experiment. Lose two points of max haul. System time corrupted. Please select boot option. Gain three points of max health. Oh, hey! <clears throat> Amazing. And you heal up. So, having last two, we could gain three. All. One random rail card. All. We could upgrade two random cards to Taipei. I think I want a random rail card. It's stun souls. I know stun souls. Yawn. Okay, everyone. You know the drill. Ugh, what's going on? Hey. Hey, intruder alert! Oh, you guys. Sup? Whoop whoop! Alarm sounds! Seize this intruder! Here, yeah, these time loops are getting weirder. Your stupid time crystal must really be doing a number on the time stream. How do you... Well, whatever. Now make yourself useful. I'm venting the Atmo and starting this loop over. Hey, did you guys know if you pull the voltage limiters out of your consoles, you can get increased weapon output? Uh, the only thing this ship is missing is a big old skull on the wing. Drake, we're not pirates. But yes, yes. Um, <laughs> I understand the premise that we're operating under over here. <laughs> so Drake is not a part of our crew. Drake was never a part of our crew. Or... Actually, Drake was a part of our crew at some point, I guess. Because he seems to at least be vaguely aware of what's going on. So presumably we've told him. Or maybe he's figured it out himself. I don't know. Oh, sorry. It's a she. Never mind. That doesn't change much, does it? These are all cars. I'd better get acquainted with them. We get heat sink. Ooh, which instantly moves us one space to the right. And... Reduces heat. Interesting, interesting. So we can get rid of heat, we can vent. Fascinating. It's like playing Sienna. All right, and we have the EMP slug. Costs two, deals three points of damage, stuns, and it gives us one point of heat. But we have ways of dissipating that heat. All right, then. All right. 
Now, if I can only swing two points to the side using all... Oh, wait, we don't have that because we got rid of Perry. It's the same sort of deal, whatever. What is this? Brimford. Salutations, y'all looking for smuggling work? Whoa, that's direct. I just need someone to hold on to this stolen artifact, Virgiffy. We have the random artifact. Oh, 75% chance something bad will happen. I... Hmm. 75% is a pretty high chance. Do I roll the dice? Is this the risk-taking run? You know, the same thing would be to just ignore all of this nonsense. But I'm playing with Drake. I'm playing with fire. Fine. Something bad will happen. Sure. Heal booster. Every time you heal, you heal, you heal more. There you go. Okay. Contraband detected. Weapons activated. I never... We've been followed. I knew it. I knew it! Enter combat. I told you I knew it. We're not going to lose the run to this, are we? I'm okay with the events that are unfolding currently. No, you're not, Riggs. Are you? Are you? Why are we... Oh, because this thing applies heat to us! We need to move! We need mobility! Yes! We need mobility! Okay. So basic shield, basic dodge, and we're in business, right? Uh, no, the heat is gonna kill us. Gosh! Damn it! Do you remember this? No. Ugh. Feet. We don't have enough mobility in this sort of situation. Just can't evade those attacks. Yes, the only way to gain this sort of mobility, <laughs> instant, yeah, instant movement, is to take parry so we can get stuff like lunge. But then again, rigs can grant us flexible movement. We just haven't gotten the right cards, and I did take an unnecessary risk out of sheer unnecessary greed. Let's give it a go again. Same setting, same people. Also, I did... Look, losing two points of haul was also something that arguably did me in. Had I had more haul, I could have survived. Hey, Drake. It's your ship. Don't tell me you have an evil copy of yourself, too. That'd be ridiculous. It's just my autopilot. Hey, this is Drake. I'm not here right now. Leave a message after the beep, then die! Why does the bot have to look like you? Why not? Is that weird? Is that weird? Seems normal. Anyways, I will simply deactivate the bot with my secret password. Okay, everyone. Everyone cover their ears. I'm gonna say my cool, not embarrassing password now. You know what? Never mind. Let's just fight it. Banter subroutine ended. Engaging kill mode. <laughs> well, at least it works. Drake, you moron! <sighs> hey, uh, give me your uh, money or a uh, gold. Spike, is this your first stick up? Yes. You have no idea what you're doing. Hey, guys, you're killing it out there. And by it, I mean the big crystal monster. Always nice to meet the fans. I've been writing down crystal facts. Like, for example, did you know that if you step on one of them barefoot, it really hurts? Wow, that's crazy. He's getting hot in here. Yeah, about that. Well, now we die, don't we? This is it, this is the end.
Goodbye. Is anyone the... <sighs> Damn it, Drake! What's wrong with you? What's wrong with Drake? What's wrong with me? I was the one who figured it was a good idea to take this, the thermal reactor. Which does give me more energy every single passing turn, but generate one point of heat. Now, if I am in charge of heat management, if I am at liberty to use or not use cars that generate heat, that's one thing. If I force upon myself the generation of at least one point of heat every single passing turn, that's another story entirely. If you have means of heat mitigation or dissipation, knock yourself out. Maybe this is the way to go. If you have extra hole to burn, maybe this is the way to go. If you're the, on a ship that has plenty of health because you're running something bulky, not something nimble, knock yourself out. But like that on the Ares with Drake, no. That just doesn't work. Quite frankly, I'm kind of sick of Drake. Although I understand that were I to play differently, I might just be able to manage. Oh great, a new starter ship has been unlocked. It's uh, the Jupiter. And how does this work? A comms vessel with no cannons of its own. I'm sorry, with what? With, 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 with no cannons of its own. It launches special Jupiter drones, uh, which channel its attacks. You do get warp prep on it. Yes, uh, the cat gives us warp prep on everything. And then there's the Jupiter drone hub. At the start of combat, gain a, ju gain a Jupiter's moons. Jupiter's moons launch an object from your missile bay. Jupiter drone, every time you attack this drone, Copies your attack. Huh. There's a wing, an empty slot, a weak calm spot. Oh boy. Then there's the cockpit, which on the hardest difficulty level is gonna be brittle. There's the missile bay and the wing. Why would I play this? Well, it's got 12 hit points. Full maximum points of shields, and it deploys those silly drones, which presumably combos reasonably well with Isaac. If I am to play Drake, I presumably should play Drake on the Artemis. You know, to be able to dissipate more heat. Minus three max points of hull is also pretty crippling. So yes, if I am to actually try to play Drake, I well, I have to perform basic risk management on Drake. That's fundamental. I have to learn to dissipate heat. Sasha, hey, hey, perfect, so glad you could make it, huh? Are you gonna try to blow us up? No, no, I'm the ref, welcome to sports. The goal is, well, the goal is the goal. Shoot the ball really hard to knock it into your goal. But don't shoot that other ship. That's a foul. What? We're not interested. There's prizes! Sure, why not? Football, some kind of sporting orb. It's indestructible, moves left or right when you or the enemy hit it. The distance it moves is equal to the damage it takes. Sports, score a goal on the left to win. The excitement of sports lets you start the fight with one ace. That's 
moderately useful. Okay, I'll bite. Basic shot. I don't know why other spots aren't played with cannons. Uh, of course you don't. <laughs> Can I shoot the ref? <laughs> oh boy. I think I should just shield surge over here. Can't flip the heat sink. This moves us no well. And we're not lining these parts up, that's rather pointless. I want my Ares back. Riggs! What was that enemy signal? They're going to dodge our next shot to the right! Okay, so if I shoot the enemy, he moves out of the way. That's interesting. Well, in that case, I'm not gonna hit him. Let's try. Haha. -ha. Nice miss. Reminds me of fighting against you guys. Hey, Drake, you don't understand what's happening over here, right? Shut up, buddy. EMP slug. Get off the corrupted call. And keep on moving. Wow, they can't keep up at all. Exactly, that's the idea. Oh, one point of damage to move it slightly to the side. I think I'll scramble, basic dodge. We can move two spots, so we would expose this. We would lose a point of shield, but shields are temporary. Victory is forever. Actually, we have block shot, never mind that. Pow. Spots! Yes, Sasha, spots. We didn't deserve to win this loop. Oh, man! If I line myself up here, is that just sheer stupidity? Are we just gonna... Yeah, it is actually. It is. Let's not do that. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. If we file, he moves out of the way to the left. Well then. Draw shot. Moves out of the way. You missed. No, 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 no. Once again, this is calculate. You don't understand, Drake. It's the power of sports. Pew. Might have misjudged a bit. One, two, three. Okay, it's gonna be here. A new record! Basic shot. Spots? Yes! Spots! <sighs> Scramble basic block, that'll do. And now, behold! Goal! What prize do you want? We'll take the ball! What? Uh, other cartoon deck, Spots Orb. Spot Orb. Launch an object from your missile bay. Wait, it's in the. Some kind of, it's indestructible, it moves to left or right when you or the enemy hit it. The distance it moves is equal to the damage it... That's insane! I love it! Got any trophies? Pick from a set of three out... We'll take the ball! <laughs> True sports tears. Fantastic! Sports! What have I just witnessed? If I fancy to do so. What is this? Unmanned ship up ahead and it's hailing us? Whoops, back comes the... How may I help you? Uh, two random cards. Gain upgrade A. Two random cards. Gain upgrade B. I'll choose a card to upgrade. <clears throat> I like the idea of randomly upgrading. Hold on. Hold on. Those two types of upgrades, they're distinct, aren't they? So, upgrade B, I believe, most of the time is more expensive, but more functionality. Upgrade A is uh, cheaper. Safer and so on. Though sometimes they can be... <sighs> this generates more heat. Yeah, yeah. 
Upgrade B is more risky most of the time. We don't want those. We don't want, we don't want to generate more heat by accident. Combustion engine B. Generate two heat. No, no, no. We want upgrade A. Okay. So, shield surge A for two regular shields and one temporary one. And combustion engine A. X equals heat. Move X to the right and then dissipate some heat. Oh, thank goodness. So now combustion engine actually allows us to remove heat. Oh, well, they reduce the base. Do you need any other abstance? Uh, no, thank you. You may shut down now. Yes, commands. It's hard seeing an AI in that kind of state. I'm sorry. Should have been decommissioned long ago, but you know how these AIs are. Just keep on running indefinitely. Seemingly. Until, you know, they just completely fall apart. Who's this guy? Hello, I'm here to collect the bounty again. The what? Are you kidding me? That's a fake bounty! That's my fake bounty! I put it on these nerds the day before the time loop started so they'd be distracted while I robbed them. Excuse me? You tricked me? Now my feelings are hurt. Prepare to die, etc. Drake! I tried to line up with the Brill's part. You will try. Howdy! Hey, books, how's it going? I got a new crystal fact. Did you know that if you hold one and wish really hard, you can travel through space and time? That's cute. Well, we better get going. Check it out. Three, two... Uh... What? Huh. Into folding the wings. We're still alive if early. No, we're not! Because, oh, because we folded the wings, so that hits the, uh, the brittle part. Damn it, Drake. Hello? Wow. I just... I have a rough time wrapping my head around how you are supposed to play with Drake. Guess I'm just uh, somewhat tired at this stage. So that's possibly a factor. I'm annoyed after having switched to the Artemis that we can't just uh, stay on the fringes safely, have a very narrow ship that doesn't take too much damage, uh, with the freedom to switch between uh, cannon locations. I think I'll go back to the Ares. And I think uh, I'll just have to pay more attention. Playing with Drake makes the entire situation extremely volatile. Hello there, people. Vestinia playing Cobalt Call. I think we should ditch Dizzy. Stick with Perry. And that way we have Riggs, who gives us flexible movement and card draw. Perry, who gives us instant movement and attacks. And Drake, who gives us attacks and debuffs. On the Ares, that's swift. Not as bulky as the Artemis. Can switch the cannon. I think that's the way to go. Especially if you can activate wall mode, just keep on blasting to finish foes off quickly. And if you can't finish foes off quickly, to not take damage, just move out of the way. Scoot away. Well, I say the basic shot. Drake! A word? Huh? What do you want? I've been looking at your file. File? I'm off the grid, baby. I don't have a file. Uh, sure. Anyway, uh, everyone else was at the Cobalt when this all started. Except you. Your file just says you're a pirate. Just a pirate? I was causing myself a smuggler marauder and general scoundrel. Uh huh. What, am I about to get a lecture on morality from a glorified mall cop? No, my time is more valuable than yours. Enemy ship detected. But yes, this... Hold on, this, this either is completely meaningless or absolutely fundamentally meaningful. If everyone involved was aboard the Cobalt when this happened... Why is Drake here? Was it because of Drake's involvement that things went wrong with the Cobalt? 
I don't know, did he shoot something that set off an entire cataclysmic reaction that set the events in motion? I don't know. I can speculate. Here's the corrupted call. Ugh. Let's go finally. Ugh, Spike. You ever notice there's a lot of robots around here? Yeah, what about them? This, that civilization that built them, it died out long before any of us got here. All these ancient war machines built to protect things long gone. I feel like we're trespassing. Wow, yeah. Anyway, point is, I already feel bad, so I won't feel worse for robbing you. Celine, I have this extra scaffold lying around. I think it would look great right in the middle of your ship. Also, it's a great tax write-off. What do you think? Add an unshootable scaffold in the middle of the ship. No, it makes our ship bigger. It makes it worse. The middle of the ship, right here. No. Fine, whatever. Look, I appreciate... Uh, I, no, I don't actually appreciate any of this. I understand that under certain circumstances it might make sense, but... No. Any flippin' time you want. Ares Cannon V2. Hey, books. Uh, hello? One! Did it work? Whoa! Ta-da! How did you do that? Crystals are magic, it's scientifically proven. Excuse me? I couldn't help but notice that you have a splendid role in this time loop. Special. Can I join your crew one of these times? I don't see how we could stop you. Okay, see you real soon. Oh. Oh, she... She is the crewmate we will eventually get. It's the one uh, that's... um. Under, uh, don't worry about it, she's going to join you real soon. That's the one. It's a sequel. We gotta finish this. Right here, right now. War mode. Draw shot. Too easy. Into... Multi-shot. Multi-shot wins us the thing. Because it deals 4 points of damage. Granted, we don't gain extra hull, but we survive. This is almost we die! The worst part about this is that the alternative was to generate extra heat energy, use wave charge, and go straight through the hull. We die in so many ways right now. I had lethal, damn it, I had lethal again! <sighs> Wake up. Unlocked books. Told you. An alchemist, her cards use a uh, shard as a resource to power up defense, movement, and mid-row actions. And where do we get shards? How does any of this work? Defense. Movement. Interesting. I don't know if we want to take... I, I think we should stick with this combination of people. For now, at least. Let's try to master... I've, every time I've failed, I've had an out. I've just made a mistake. We don't have anyone to deal with shields. Let's lose one point of sh max shields and be done with it. Please select Black Boot option. Uh, carbon artifact, a rare card, or replace water pre warp prep. Warp prep is pretty awesome. How about we gain an artifact? Ricochet paddle. Great, we can flip missiles. It is a basic circuit, a hostile vessel detected. Who says we're hostile? Who says we're a vessel? EMP slug. And get rid of the corrupted cult, please. Can be the difference between life and death. Draw shot. Hey, you actually hit them here. Yeah. Multi shot. 
basic shot. If we lunge, we position ourselves in the worst possible way. So let's not scramble into multi shot. I guess the key thing with Drake is to know when and how much to push your luck. That's it. Risk management. EMP slug. Jaw shot. Lunge. Hot foot option, so think twice. You know, reshuffling is the way to go. Sometimes you just need to see other cards. So I think we'll take think twice. Cut cards, yes please. Into an adventure into cutting cards again. Well, would we prefer, you know, more cards? We can just go through enemies and get more cards instead of cutting the stuff we have. The stuff we have isn't that great. Although cutting cards seems crucial. Fine, we'll just keep on cutting cards. Hello, hello. Removed. Ren. Howdy! Did you know we're running an upcycling program here? We're turning old unwanted junk into new wanted junk. Replace a card with a random murder card. Replace a card with the same rarity card from another deck. Oh, no thanks. How can you even... How can you tell what rarity things are? For instance, this is a rare card from what I know. And this is a, a common card, probably. But I'm not sure how I would know. Based on colors? It's not the stripe. There's gotta be some way, but I don't know how. How can you have n rarity not marked? Maybe it's the number of stripes on the name. Well, either way, I think I would like to upcycle the cards I would otherwise cut. Yeah, so if I am going to upcycle a basic card, I'm presumably going to upcycle it to a card of regular rarity, so a common card. That's no good. Wait, it, th this cannot be removed. Can it be upcycled? That would be glorious. <laughs> I want to upgrade the corrupted core. Have this! Oh my god, yeah, this is junk by every single definition. Is there anything else we would like to flip? No, if I can flip the corrupted core, that's gonna be awesome. Otherwise, I think I'd go for basic shot. Ah, uh, yes, replace a card. It's not an option. Damn it! Hold on, hold on, hold on. So that card I was thinking of is not an option, is it? Because of the highest rarity? Yeah, the, the, the hand one. So you have basic cards, common cards, uncommon cards, and rare cards. I don't think there's a higher level of rarity. You don't have epics or legendaries. I think I would like to uh, get rid of basic shot again. Oh, you know, sometimes I use those when in desperation. I really... I really want to shield. I prefer to move away, but sometimes I don't have the option. Yeah, maybe this will grant me the option. Or should I get rid of... Um... If a card belongs to a crewmate, the replacement will as well. What if it doesn't? Um, no, let's go with basic shot. It uh, is now an uncommon card, and it's prepared. Nice! Good luck out there. Thanks. <laughs> now let's cut cards. Yo, hey. Can I get you anything? Or would we prefer to upgrade a thing? Like upgrade prep. Making lunge flippable could also be a lifesaver.
The ability to cycle as many times as we want is also reasonably handy. You know, not exhausting thing twice. But I think all in all we want to cut cards, so remove the basic shot. Voila! But many. Oh, it's Wizboy again. Uh, hey, just if I'm going to steal this ship when we're out of here. I guess you can try. Okay, okay, so here's the plan. We prep. And we move to the side. Hocus Crocus! We're not doing this. Into uh, a lunge. Into the removal of the corrupted call. If not now, then when? Into think twice! No, then, then the energy reserve. Into multi shot. Wish I could have used another prep, but I can't. There goes Perry. Whoa, what the. Where did Perry go? Sorry about that. Basic dodge into prep again. I can spill your drink. No! Get rid of this toxicity. <sighs> Get rid of your stupid card. Well, you know, card giving power. Boom! Into draw shot. Into give us back our friend. What the hell? Riggs! All right, restore rigs. Into get basic dodge. We're not lunging. Kula Limpu. All right, I'm done with you. We were fighting in an asteroid field, but. Uh, that didn't feel noticeable. Heat wave, there we go. We need to upgrade it, but uh, that's not a problem. Artifact, premeditation, we gain gliss. Excellent, another adventure? Yes, please. Huh, now I was picking up a signal at this abandoned shipyard, but as soon as we dropped out of hyperspace, it vanished. Oh, I don't like that. We could try to patch up the hull, Heal the hall. Seven, sorry, sixty-seven percent chance into the combat. I'll keep moving. I'm up for a fight. We've only repaired one point of hull damage. Combat. It was a trap all along. Toggle the cannon. We're gonna lose all day. Into slug. Into lunge. Gotta love the lunge. There's no such thing as free lunge, but there is such a thing as lunge. <sighs> Can't really disable this. Fine, we heat wave anyway. I know that building up heat. Maybe harmful to look them health. I don't like what the format is reading. Maybe I like it warm here. Malt shot. Into scramble on out of here. Fine. Just move out of the way. First of all, draw shot so we can get some options here. Toggle the cannon. 
Heat sink to dissipate heat, move out of the way, move out of the way again, and get rid of this without using gliss. All right, heat wave into yes, into multi shot into slug. Time for an elite. At the bottom one, please. Oh, it's Drake Bot 2. Panther subroutine and it engaging kill mode. Well, at least it works. Yes, for a definition of working, I guess. Well, considering the fact that we're not gonna get hit by anything this turn, it only fires once, and there's a huge asteroid field in the way, might as well flip the cannon, prep for next turn, and gain basic dodge. I say heat wave into heat sink. <sighs> Hold on. We'll have to move left, I guess. But yes, heat wave. I don't like what the FMR is reading. Stop sweating the small stuff. We'll dissipate this later. So we move left, we lunge to head on over here, deal the damage, then draw shot. And now what? Get rid of the corrupted call. And think twice. We're not dissipating the heat yet. We don't need to. We have bigger fish to fry. We can go for two points of damage and card draw, or, you know, just uh, four points of damage, generating more heat. More heat. We're still fine. Oh, we're no longer fine. We're no longer fine by any stretch of the imagination. Toggle the cannon. The heat is gonna get to us, so it's not. Lunge and scramble. Scramble on out of here. Okay, this is fine, at least for now. We can't disable this, though. One, two, three... We need to move false pots. And we can. Okay, so Gliss. Basic dodge. And we're out! We're in the clear. Prep for next turn. Oh. Well, lunge is going to put us in the wrong spot. So that's rather annoying. Because of the asteroid. We have to toggle the cannon anyway. We can waste a lunge's uh, damage on this and then just keep on firing, I guess. Is it better to use scramble? Because we do have a limit on how much we can actually use. Also, if we use heat wave, we'd better have lethal, otherwise we're gonna take hull damage. Six points. So this can be buffed to two. This can be buffed to two, so that's fall. This is gonna be fall. So we can't really scramble, I guess. This will go to waste. This will be fall. This will be two. Okay, if my calculations are correct, this ought to work. We use Heat Wave, we activate Overdrive, this becomes 2, this becomes Fall, 2 and Fall is 6, as far as I know, this costs 3, so we have 2 left, Lunge takes us over here, gets rid of the Asteroid, and that's it, Heat Wave into Lunge, okay, maybe I overdid a little, no, 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 this is fine for once, we draw cards anyway, we could heat sink should we need to, but we don't. 
we EMP slug to finish things off. Volatile Vapor, Panic, or Front Loaded Blast. We need significantly more card draw for this to work. Ah, uh, significantly. We do have Think Twice. We do have Prep. We do have the card draw, arguably. We need movement, and Panic grants us movement. With Overdrive, it even deals some damage. Volatile Vapor isn't half bad. It removes max shields, but it deals three points of damage, and that can be worth it. Those fumes might be the death of us, though. I think panic is the way to go. Permanently gain plus three max hole and heal three hole and pick up. All adaptive plating. Gain hole and heal one every time you defeat a boss or elite. This could help. I thought we had that already, but we don't. So easy to become confused between runs. Does it apply to this elite? I think it very well might. Look, this gives you three right here, right now. This gives you plus one on every boss and elite. We are going to defeat three bosses, but at that point we're done with the run. We are going to encounter a number of elites. If you think you can do it, uh, this is better in the long run, I guess. I think it'll be worth it. Adaptive plating it is. We're so far on five. And it uh, doesn't apply retroactively, I guess. Do we cut cards or upgrade something? Upgrading Heatwave could be beneficial, highly beneficial. You know, upgrading Heatwave, so uh, it generates two heat, sure, but at the same time grants power driver than overdrive would be uh, even better. Just upgrade for the entire rest of combat. And then ditch it so you no longer draw into it. So you don't have to worry about uh, needing to evade, etc. Having exhaustible cards isn't terrible. It's actually quite decent if you want to use them once, have an effect applied, and then want to draw into other cards you actually want to keep on using. Sure, that ordinarily these sorts of powerful cards you absolutely want to use and would like to use more than once, but sometimes drawing into them isn't what you want, all too often in fact. So having them exhaustible may be a benefit in its own right. Actually, a flippable panic is also pretty nice. You can control whether you go left or the right with this and you shield up. Bonus points if you can manage to deal damage with it using something like Heatwave. We could obviously also cut cards. I think what I ultimately should do is uh, upgrade Heatwave one way or another. The only heat dissipation I have right now is heat sink. That's rather underwhelming. Well, in that case, I could make Heatwave dissipate heat. But I want that power drive. I can then possibly refuse to use, say, EMP slug. Fine, I want the power drive. Heatwave B it is, but will I even be able to use it? It costs two at that point. And I should find the time to weave it in. Fine, Heatwave upgrade it is, if I'm so hellbent on Meowdy. Now in front of everyone, please. Can I, can I get you anything? Yes, I would like to upgrade a card. Repel two points of hole, but we have four out of five. How can you repel two? Wow, cool. It's strangely beautiful. The best part about the situation is that we have Gliss. And as we all know, Gliss is Bliss. Can't flip the lunge. That's uh, the bad part. Mold shard. Good. Hey, it's... It's the regular crystalline entity. It's not absorbing a ship. That's interesting, I guess. Prep for next turn. And step aside. Step aside? Should I flip the cannon? Ah, uh, whatever. Ah, big crystal.
How can we evade? Actually, we could just stay here, take that point of damage on the shield. Or we could mess with the heatsink and gliss to the left. Let's not. Here's the plan. Heatwave B. Drake, I needed to clear some of that heat. Maybe I like it while I'm in here. Draw shot. One, two. All the one, two. Okay, panic! Yes! We've panicked in just the right way. In the best way possible. Now, if there, if there ever was a way to panic, that'll be it. Fine, get rid of the corrupted core as well. Do we want to draw more cards? You can only use this once, let's not. Good block. Let's keep that for emergencies instead. Do we want to panic again? This could lead us to terrible places. We should scramble instead, I would say. Scramble, toggle the cannon. Block. No hole damage. So far. Oh boy, if we land, we line things up terribly. Although, we can flip the cannon and disable this. Easy shot. No, that generates too much heat. Well, we put ourselves in a bit of a pickle then, don't we? Think twice is good advice. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that to begin with. One, two, three. I need more mobility. It doesn't matter. Once again, what matters is our survival over here. As long as we make it through this, we regenerate all of the hull, I think. So build that heat. It doesn't matter. Whoa. Think twice. No, it was pointless to reshuffle. Ah, but at least I got real think twice, I guess. It's not like I desperately need it. Oh, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> yeah, indeed. We'll live. For now. <sighs> Fine. Panic. Not even close. Well, we could lunge, but that's not the best of ideas, is it? It's basic block. That does nothing at this stage. Fine, let's not overdo it. Oh, this is terrible. <sighs> Slug. Into Gliss. Into toggling the cannon. Into multi shot. Hey, Hyperia, good shot. Hold on, hold on. Is it Hyperia Periwinkle? No, it's Hyperia or Peri for short. Periwinkle is a term of endearment. Not a scratch. Dissipating the heat puts us deeper in danger. One, two, three. They'll do. They'll do. Plus basic block. Ugh, I hate not having acid. It's gonna take more than that to end this hole. Yeah, I guess. Ugh, lunging by two puts this the. We can't afford that. Draw shot. Nice shot. Yeah, we can dissipate a single point of damage. The second one gets reduced by armor. Multi-shot. Thank goodness we have the power drive. Generate more shields. 
Could have gone instead for more evasion. Oh no, don't give up! Look at how much damage is coming our way. Look at that! That's 10 points! Frankly, I think now is the time to panic. Actually, Togo Cannon slug this, I would say. Pretty much no matter what. Panic! Do we die here? This gets shaven off by the armor onto zero. And we uh, take one point of hull damage. We're down to two points of hull. We're in trouble. Yep. Don't worry. It's just one point of hull damage incoming. We can deal with it. If I slug here, we overheat. If I slug here, we win! We heal to full, four, five points of hull, we gain two points of max hull, so we're up to seven out of seven. <sighs> Think twice, hand cannon, or endless magazine. We can draw quite a few cards, so hand cannon ain't bad. Although, endless magazine combos reasonably well with a number of things. One chip shot at the start of every turn. We don't have an engine associated with that, we need the artifacts. Though we might get them. I do want card draw, I desperately want card draw. Yeah, but to what end? I need some damage to go along with it. I think endless magazine might be the way to go, especially if we can combo those stupid chip shots with something. One could say that this is a no-brainer. We get power drive, so those chip shots actually deal two points of damage. And this magazine it is. Flywheel. To generate energy based on cards drawn. We would love that because we want to draw more cards. High frequency intercom to draw more cards, but to be offered fewer choices. Oh, Genesis! Get these canisters that you desperately want to get rid of, but also get three artifacts. The flywheel seems like the safest option. Should I take a risk over here? My goodness, should I take a risk? Or should I just, you know, take extra energy? For drawing cards. We're going with Genesis. Piercer or prepared batteries. Gain one extra energy on the first turn. Seems useful. Piercer. First attack is pierces. This can be the way to actually deal with all sorts of fights by just attacking a single time and then doing all sorts of other things. Moving, prepping, and so on. So every attack pierces on a given turn if there's only one attack on a given turn. Piercer it is. Crossing or grazer beam. Crossing means every fifth time you attack, gain and evade. I did take in these magazines. I did. So crossing is going to help tremendously. We need those evades. Shield memory or jet thrusters. Jet thrusters. We need that initial evade. And now we need to get rid of the canisters to pay off those artifacts. You know, you know, Genesis is questionable because instead of getting a boss tier artifact, you just get a regular one. Let's crack that hole open. That is indeed the problem, isn't it? That is the problem. Because you get a higher rarity one on offer, but no, no, instead of that you pick uh, regular garbage. Slug it to turn it off. Drake, good hit. They're beginning to like one another, my goodness, character development, I didn't expect that. Also, yeah, that pierced. So I say, don't use draw shot to, you know, put a dent over here. I say instead use heat sink to dissipate heat. Oh, that's not good. I would say we go into panic mode. That did nothing. Yeah, because it ordinarily deals zero, zero uh, damage, yes. Get rid of this. <sighs> Gain more evasion and move out of the way. It has entered power drive. I think Heatwave is the way to go, although I want to get rid of those stupid canisters as quickly as possible. 
and I can do it now. Move out of the way, get rid of the stupid canister, right here, right now. Scramble. Move out of the way, toggle the cannon, and do nothing. Toggle the cannon. And what? Apply the heat? Yep. Here it is. I don't like what the is reading. Oh, just turn a fan on or something. Yeah. Well, best we could do. Best we could do. We have power drive. I'd say panic. Got us out of the way. Yeah, wasted shot. We could have flipped the cannon. Yeah, we could have flipped the cannon. Ordinarily, it deals no damage, but we could have. We could have. Ah, whatever. Whatever. We'll still manage, I guess. Yeah, and that shot pierces, so there's no excuse. I say prep. Lunge. Easy hit. Into scramble. Move out of the way. Panic. Every ship should come with a crosslink. Excellent. We gain evade. I say endless magazine. So we can keep on shooting. The resilient. Yeah, but uh, that only works to a point. I say... Get rid of another Genesis canister so we don't have to deal with that ever again. Unleash a chip shot. We still have Gliss. Do we dig for another canister? It could be... Risky business. Chip shot. We're not going to be able to... We can't finish them off, not quite. Quite frankly, we're fighting for our life over here. We can't really let that hit. So we glitch to the side. Yes, and then we prep for next turn. We're not using thing twice here. To seek a finisher. Alright, chip shot, piercing, is going to be our finisher. If only we could remove the final canister, but we can't. Fine, finish them off with the chip shot. The fact that we pierce on every first shot each turn is immensely useful. My goodness, is it useful. So we just shoot once each turn, and everything else is maintenance, basically. Flux, whenever the ship attacks, gain one temporary shield. It's highly useful. And also it fires once, so it gives you that temporary shield. They also feign to get a temporary shield and move left. There's a limit to how many of those stupid shields you can get, considering that this costs two. But you can make it cost one, deal less damage. I think that's the way to go. Upgrade it. Those piercing shots aren't worth it, considering the fact that every first attack for us uh, pierces. Flux it is. Look at me picking Periwinkle's cards every single time. I think we upgrade Flux. You know, upgrading lunge wouldn't hurt either. I do want lunge to be flippable. It could otherwise be the death of us, although... No, 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 no. Upgrading panic might be more of a priority. To be able to dodge out of the way. <sighs> yeah, it also offers us a shield, but then again, I think lunge might be better. Costs the same. So what is it? Uh, do I want flux or lunge? Lunge. We definitely want to upgrade lunge. Although if we go down that path, 
or up that path, as the situation may be, we don't encounter these elites. Fine, we're going for the adventure then. Sports! I'm going to trash talk the other team so hard. Sports! Sure, why not? Hello, dog. Good one with the thrusters. Thanks! Alright. We step to the side. Draw shot. Let's see some action! Move to the side again. If we multi-shot this dodges, thank goodness. We should scramble instead, I say. Get more mobility. Next shot might not line up. Shot. Why would it not line up? Because of this? Whatever, Flux. Wow, just felt the engines kick up. Do we reshuffle? It's kind of pointless. No, it's just, just a basic block. EMP slug. Fantastic stuff. Bye. Unfortunately, I can't quite flip the lunge, now can I? But since I have glitz, might as well do this! Ha ha ha. Alright, heat wave. That generates too much heat though, let's not do that. Incredible shot! Let's glitz out of the way. Toggle the cannon. And EMP slug into victory. Goal! What prize do you want? We'll take the ball. True sports, Katiers. Fantastic sports! What, what? What? Destroy! Reflexive coatings. Whenever this ship is shot, the part that was hit gains armor for the rest of the turn. Ah, I see. I see how it is. Alright, first of all, let's panic. That's usually a good first move. Hit him, world of weak! You mean right here? Seems like a good idea. Stun them, disable that. And that's going to be it for now. Oh, we can line things up nicely. Now, gotta remember, you deploy missiles from the missile bay every time. Heat sink into draw shot. Good. Into getting rid of the corrupted call. Lunge. Nice shot into prep. Oh boy, do not shoot this. We've got five points. What do we want to do? If we deploy the ball, it's gonna block the missile bay here. Let's say. Heatwave B. Drake, I need you to clear some of that heat. Maybe I like it while I'm here. Move. And multi shot this. Got him. And then prep for next turn. Mm -hmm. 
I say we panic first. Whoa, that was questionable. No, that was actually bad. That was not questionable at all. It was just straight up bad. Should have calculated that as a possibility. Well, either way, we're still fine. We had the shields. We'll live. No, 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 no. If I do this, I put the heat all the way up to three. Uh, that's going to be mighty bad. Let's not do that. Endless magazines, basic dodge. And we have one point left. Think twice. No, heat sink will put us in harm's way, so I think... The basic block will draw a shot. Might as well draw a shot. The blocking wouldn't have been half bad. Okay, we just have to move one. A single point and we'll be fine. We'll be out of the woods. First of all, well... <sighs> we could hypothetically dissipate all the damage here, but that's not. Toggle the cannon. Do not generate additional heat. Chip shot. Easy shot. Step to the side. Multi shot. And prep for next turn. Prep for next turn? This would be lethal, would it not? Sure, this shaves up one point, but this deals fall. And fall minus one, as far as I understand it, is three, right? Am I missing something? Let's move to the side just to be on the safest side imaginable. No kill like overkill. Evasive shot, draw shot, or EMP slug again. I think draw shot to give us options. This has saved my life quite a few times. Time for an elite. It's cute that you guys used a piercer. I just do piercing attacks to begin with. Of course you do, Drake. I guess we'll have to use the draw shot. <laughs> Into prep for next turn, I would say. Move out of the way. It's a small crystal, look at it. It's full segments. Toggle the cannon. Slug to generate heat and turn off the intention. Got him. Uh, I should have activated heat wave. Uh, absolutely should have. Well, and that. No, 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 no. It still makes sense. No, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. We're gonna take cold damage. What am I doing? Oh, no. No, no, no. no. That's why you have to take these other things into account. Oh, damn it. Temperature's high. Brace for overheating. Should have used endless magazine. There was a reason. There was a reason behind this. Oh. Hardly singed at all. I did that to myself so unnecessarily. All right, all right. Let's just panic. Good one. If we glitch to the right, we line things up for six points of damage. Not good. And then we can move out of the way because we have the evasion. Well, first of all, multi shot. Too easy. Second of all, glitch to the right. Do this. Toggle the cannon. Think twice and see what we get. The draw shot. Step to the side. Ugh, that overheat was so stupid. It'll hardly be the death of us, but I should have known. I obviously should have known. If we line things up like this, I can still take it. We have enough shields, and we need to disable that. So I say we move to the left. Unintuitively enough, terribly unintuitively enough, we toggle the cannon, shoot this. 
with the slug. Yes! Into draw shot. Thankfully, we have some shields. It's gonna take more than that to end this hall. I don't know about that. And how exactly do we want to evade this nonsense? Well, we could just deploy the ball out of the missile bay at the end of the turn by moving once and then deploying the ball. Anything else we'd like to do? No, I think that's basically it. So, heat sink to dissipate heat, thank goodness. Deploy the ball. And uh, that's it. Oh boy. If I shoot this, it moves to the left. So I can move here, shoot the ball. No, I can move here twice, shoot the ball, it goes there. And at this point I'm well. I've moved twice, so this is lined up with that. I still have to move. Well, I'd better move no matter what, so let's panic to begin with, I think. Pretty much never a good sign. Panic, then I get two movement points. Okay, let's let's consider briefly where panic can land me. This could go here, this would be there, and then I can move out of the way to the left. Okay, what if we go to the right? Well, then this segment is here, this is there, and we can go with the ball plan, I guess. Can I line up with this? My armor, I mean. Two, and... Uh, this will go here. Yes. So this will go here. One, two. Well, no, this is blocked. Hold on, hold on. So we line this up. This goes here. This goes there. We move one more point. We have the shield. Fine. Panic! We went to the left anyway. You sure you know how to use that thing? Drake? Should we prep endless magazines? Move out of the way. Prep sounds like a significantly better idea. So let's do that. And this magazine could grant us an out in terms of, uh, you know, having lethal, but... No, this will do, this will do, look at this. Flux, whenever the ship attacks, gain one temporary shield. Let's take those temporary shields. So, flux. Yes. We can lunge at the very tail end, should we need to, I guess. Draw shot. Into the EMP slug, finishing things off. We get healed a bit, we gain max hull, so we're at 7 out of 8. We could get more card draw. Is that what we desperately need? I think lunge might be it to reposition. Although I do have to think about these things ahead of time. Lunge it is. Shield memory or the grazer beam? The grazer beam has its uses, but I think we might as well want to retain shields between fights. Not that we generate that many to begin with. Fine, let's go for an elite. Oh boy, it's the space squid again. Ready to go. We can perfectly move out of the way. In that case, let's do that and get rid of the final canister. Can't flip the lunge. Yes, how many times have I said that? I say scramble and basic dodge. Well, well, well. Look at me over here, appreciating basic dodge. Mm -hmm. 
Toggle the cannon. Heat wave. I don't like what the farmer's doing. You worry too much. If we move once and then launch, we shoot into nothingness. If uh, we don't move once and then shoot, we shoot into the media. <sighs> once and into nothingness, please. Didn't take the grazing thing, it's still fine. Shut up, Perry. Our discard pile is full of eldritch horrors. I say we should panic! Uh oh. Well, I couldn't have known. We'd either go left or right, and uh, both options would be bad, would we, too? Well, it was a coin flip in terms of flipping the cannon, I would say. A coin flip, cannon flip. We have too much heat, we're not gonna slug this turn. We're gonna move one more, so... Multi-shot... Get rid of the Corrupted Call, step aside. We need to dissipate heat, desperately. Thankfully, we are dealing bonus damage. Can we get out of the way? Well, let's try. Left or right, doesn't matter, it should help anyway. Left, excellent. <laughs> Into draw shot, we're not using heat sink, it's suicidal. This is bad enough as it is. We could glitz, but uh, let's not do that unless we have to. Draw shot. Got him. Abyssal visions. No. Lunge will put us in harm's way terribly. Basic block. It's absolutely useless. Well, then we do nothing. Not a scratch. We had that extra evade. Ugh. I think this turn we have to gliss out of the way, or else things end very poorly for us. Uh, all we could, we could think twice, bet the farm on that. We could even flux uh, think twice. Think we gliss to the left. Our draw pile is full of horrifying abyssal visions. What are we gonna do? Prep for next turn and that's it? Move out of the way and prep? Yeah, I think we are. Logos help me. Prep. Move out of the way. Is there some asteroids shielding us here? Okay, it wants to... That real part is begging for us to go to. Yeah, but it's also charging up an attack for five. I'd say we end this magazine to be able to deal, deal damage in the future. We draw a shot. Nice shot. And we get rid of one abyssal vision. We should be easily able to move out of the way with literally anything. Uh, if only we could dissipate heat. Okay, how's that cross thing coming along? Oh no, oh no, we're so far away from being able to use it. I think taking one point of hull damage is preferable to everything that's headed our way right now. Well, at least this is a brittle part. Should it fall, it's worth. Nice one. How about some more then? Fine, we're gonna take some damage. We'll live. Okay, maybe it is a little hot in here. Well, we've disabled that. We're not gonna take a tremendous amount of damage. Just one point straight to the hall. We'll live. If I were in charge, this fight would have been over ages ago. Yeah, I bet. We do gain max hole. We're at 7 out of 9. We're gonna be fine. 
Flux barrage of volatile vapor. If for no other reason, barrage is nice because it moves you to the side. So pew move, pew move, and pew. I like barrage B a decent bit because you move further away. Let's go with barrage. Revenge rival, sharp edges. Every time you dis your discard pile is shuffled back into your draw pile, the enemy loses one hole. Ha! So cutting cards is particularly useful in those circumstances. I need to keep on deploying the ball. I know it might not be in the best of spots, but uh, it can shield me. First time you lose hole, again one overdrive. We do not want to get damage dealt to us. Sharp edges it is. And an artifact, Caffeine Rush. Every time your discard pile shuffled into your draw pile, gain, gain one evade. Oh! So we gain evade, we deal damage to the enemy. Well, we should presumably just keep on uh, cutting cards or drawing cards. So presumably both. We need card draw and cutting cards. Um, do we go for two guys? We go for one guy because we want as few cards as possible, so we can keep on reshuffling. Bounty targeted, starting optimal engagement patterns. Oh, yeah? Toggle the cannon. Do not deploy that rocket. Got him. Basic dodge. Dissipate the damage here. I know he's unleashing rockets. No hull damage. Yeah, for now, Perry. For now. And this magazine. To get damage, to combo with the crossing. I know, I know there's a heat wave, but we do not want to overheat right here, right now. Get rid of the corrupted call while it's still possible and reasonably convenient. Always first on the bounty leading balls, eh, Sardog? Yeah. Let's not panic for once. Move to the side once. I mean, what the hell? Move twice. Deploy the sports orb. And start shooting. We're not gonna use thing twice, not here. We don't need it. Not here, not now. Alright, move to the side. Locks. Yes! Chip shot. We don't actually need those temporary shields, do we? Huh. Lunge. Move as far to the side as possible. What happens when you try to deploy a missile into this? Oh! No, you deal damage! Fine! You essentially shoot the mid-row object. Well, he's pushed the ball to the side. It's not exactly in my cult, but it has been moved. Toggle the cannon. Now we're going to evade to the left, I guess. Draw shot. No, 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 we're just gonna move with the barrage, I guess. Fine. Chip shot. Pew, pew, pew. Easy shot. Five points remaining. All right, heat wave. The consequences for my actions ridiculous. Gosh. I don't actually have enough energy to finish him off. That's the worst part. Temperature high, brace for overheating. I miscalculated. Oh, this is gonna deal too... P uh, I forgot about the flipping thing! Oh, this is so bad. Yeah, and that damage was taken completely unnecessarily. I figured... I, I didn't calculate. It's my fault. That was so perfectly avoidable. <sighs> Options lunge again or hot compress. 
We would have to be able to dissipate that heat. We can't dissipate heat. <sighs> Give me options. Give me evasion and also wonderful card draw. I don't really want to take cards, but if I would, uh, but if I do, they should grant me card draw or something. Hello, dearies. What pigs are Grandma's Bakery and Weapons Market today? Weapons. Give me all your pistachio macaroons. Both? Have a look around. Gain a random roll card or remove a card. We should remove a card. We should totally remove a card and that card presumably should be the basic block. We don't want that. Come back soon. An opportunity to upgrade a card or maybe cut a card. What do we want? Being able to move further away with the barrage is certainly tempting. All options B drawing me cards this very turn. That's also tempting. All you know, two points of evade for a single point of energy. That's also pretty nice. We could also cut out basic dodge, but it's not that much of a priority, I would say. No, no, being able to flip the lunge seems to be the priority. I love lunges, but I want to be able to direct them. Yonesk, Leo, oh, can I get you anything? Yes, I'd like to upgrade a card. Nice. And time for the boss fight. Hey, it's Evil Riggs again! Evil Riggs? I'm just normal Riggs! Interesting. So to you, I'm Evil Riggs. No, I've been calling you stupid Riggs. Ah, I see. We've got this! These are concussible, which is, uh... Adorable. It is a boss fight in the end. Okay. If we move two to the left, we line this up with that. This goes here. This goes there. So we should still be able to get away, I guess. With the movement points we have. If we go to the right, then what? This lines up with this. Perfect. This lines up with that. Less than ideal, but whatever. Yes, and we gain a shield. But uh, we're at our limit, so that's kind of pointless. Maybe we should instead dissipate one point here, take two points of damage to the shields, and uh, and this magazine draw shot. Yes, yeah, just unload on this on this guy. Good one. Or, or now hear me out. We could prep. Yes, to get more stuff further down the line. No, I think we end this magazine right here, right now, while we can. Phew, not as bad as it could have been. Correct. We move once to the right, and then we unleash the sports ball. Do we use heat sink? No, we don't want to pay for that. Sports orb! Into chip. Too easy. We don't need this. We don't want to lunge. Think twice it is. Right here, right now. Oh, and remember... We deal damage every time we reshuffle. Yes. There's a number of things we can do. Oh my goodness, yeah, quite a few of them are good, but I think the pri top priority is to use Heatwave B. We exhausted, so we no longer do Drake, I need to get some of the eight. Just trying to find out something. We need to apply Power Drive as early as possible. It applies to every instance of us dealing damage whatsoever. There goes the ball. Pew. 
pew here, pew here, pew. <clears throat> One, two, ah. Uh, I mean, we have the mobility. This moves us two. We can move four in total. So, one, two, three, four. That's good. If we shoot the ball, it moves to the left, right? Every single time. Yes, it moves left if we shoot it. So, we should shoot it for two damage with draw shot. Alright, check this out. We barrage. Good. We move on over here. We draw a shot into the ball. Spots! We chip shot. Disabling the intention to temporarily shield. And we're fine. Excellent. Keep on chasing the ball. Move to the side. Draw shot. Disable the intention to launch a missile. Yes. Ah, we can lunge into lunge. Lunge right, lunge left. Why not? Because we could move uh, draw shot and such. And options for next turn? Yeah, that's unsensible. Chip shot to disable this. Nonsense. Draw shot to get more cards right here, right now. Dissipate the heat. No, options it is. The ball will line up with this. We're chasing it reasonably well. Yes, excellent. Step to the side again. No, I should have launched. This is so silly. Fine, just unload upon him. Too easy. Into chip shot. Into a basic lunge in this direction. Lunge to the right. Heat sink. Draw shot. Chip shot. He moves the ball to the right and we follow the stupid ball. Boy here, finish things off. Yes! We're at full haul. 11 out of 11. Glorious. Thermal battery, table flip, or second opinions? Well, table flip, uh, kinda, if we manage to play it, uh, makes it uh, useless to have upgraded um, my, what is it called? My lunge. Second opinions is nice because it draws us cards, and it costs me nothing. Also, the ability to extract cards from the exhaust pile is hilarious. So you can get Think Twice again, Endless Magazine again, <laughs> Heatwave B again. <laughs> we must need heat dissipation. So we're not taking thermal battery, but Table Flip is immensely tempting. I think I will take f table flip, and I think it's perfectly worth it to uh, upgrade it so it's table flip A. It just costs one, so you move one, and you gain the ability to flip any movement card. We do need card draw for a variety of reasons, but... Uh, yeah, we gain evades, and we deal damage to the enemy, but at the same time, being able to properly evade... In, as in, in the right direction, with instant movement cards... Is the way to go. Table flip it is. I'm not giving up on that. Ares Cannon version 2. Yes! 
so that we can actually activate wall mode and such and flip at the drop of a hat. Wall mastery is also nothing to sneer at. Three shields, three evades on the very first turn. Could be life saving. So which is it? Ares Cannon with the Fabled Wall mode. All World Master. World Master is defensive. I think the Ares Cannon is the way to go with the aggressive style of play necessary to play Drake properly. Engines powered up. All right, then. I say table flip right here, right now. Options and move. Wow. Wall mode lunge is an option. I guess. Although we need to get out of the way, which we can as far as I can tell. Oh no. So put this here. This will aim there. One, two, three, and we can get out of the way. Yeah, I guess if we want to deal a lot of damage this way. But endless magazines are significantly more tempting. <laughs> yeah, just playing it safe every single time. And we can launch to the other to the other side. <laughs> Doesn't sound tempting, no no. no. In the other direction. Got him. Endless magazines activated. It has indeed entered power drive. <sighs> Chip shot. Draw shot. Barrage. Into, move aside. Heatwave B. I like what the thermometer is reading. Stop spinning the small stuff. Whichever direction we move with panic, it's gonna be fine. So let's panic! Sorry, Drake. And step aside. Heat sink. Chip shot. Options. Step to the side again. Should we think twice? Ah, might as well. We have a point we haven't spent. Might as well spend it on something useful. Like draw shot. And the more cards we draw. We gain those evades, we deal the damage, you know the drill. Flux is so useless because we dodge out of the way every single time anyway. Fine, in that case, lunge, multi-shot, chip shot, draw shot, we're not even unleashing the ball. We are unleashing damage, however, due to reshuffling.
Down the cicada goes. So the flat multi shuttle, front loaded blast. Cancels every intent on the enemy ship, but heats us up. Well, that could be a lifesaver. I don't know. Fumes are free to get rid of, although you you need the card draw to get to them. I think it's still worth it. I mean, four points of damage, come on. I get it, I get it. In certain circumstances, this could be the death of us, but uh, it won't be. Because we have enough card draw for now. Do we cut the basic dart, or is there something in particular I would like to upgrade? And if so, what? A cheaper table flip? To absolutely inevitably grant us options? A barrage moving us further away? Prep drawing us more cards next turn? That massively drawing prep is incredibly tempting. Oh, you know, options for more mobility. That may seem insignificant, but uh, I'd say it means a lot. How about we upgrade the front loaded, loaded blast? What can we do with it? Uh, add two fumes, okay, less punishing. All add three fumes, but have the front loaded blast cost zero. That's absolutely worth it. Drawing more cards and prep is nice. I think we are going to upgrade the front of the blast. Back to try and see some artifacts again. Are we sorry? It will happen again. Can I get you anything? Upgrade a card. And we want to upgrade the front loaded blast. Or anything else? Table flip. Ah, oh, front loaded blast. Cost zero now. Yeah, oh, shiny. We go for a little adventure, then two elites, then through here. An artifact. Excellent. Detecting a minefield up ahead. Oh, wow! With a lot of exploded ships inside! Let's stop and look for cool stuff! We'll probably barely explode it all! Grab the first thing you can find. Lose 1 HP, gain 1 artifact. Lose 3 H... Whoa! Let's look around for a bit. Lose 3 HP, gain 1 of 3 artifacts. Oh, it's not worth it. Let's go. I don't care for HP. We'll heal that back up on the boss fight anyway. That's the final boss fight, though. Now, whatever, who cares? Give me 1 out of 3... Hold on, one out of three... Oh, so you get to choose. I don't want to choose necessarily. Don't I? No, I want to choose. When an enemy part is made brittle, that can be quite useful. Well, obviously, they're all useful. Gain one energy on first turn. With prepped batteries. All cockpit lock on. All enemy cockpits start out weak. Let's go with Fracture Detection. Whoa, nice! Let's get out of here. Fracture Detection can be quite nice, can it not? You gotta find that part, but once you do, you just unload upon it and that's it. Oh boy, we know this one. We know this one. The Jet Thrusters are working great. Oh, of course they are. Well, what do I use here? Heatwave or Endless Magazines? I'd say Heatwave. Yeah, you chill on out, Perry. It's gonna be fine. Get rid of the corrupted call and prep. <clears throat> All right, then. We can easily move out of the way. We can also unleash the sports ball, and we will. I guess. But considering how huge this is, how about we enter the wall mode right here, right now? I've been neglecting this. Yeah, we can move out of the way easily. Wall mode! Hey, Hyperia. Good shot. Well, we're gonna overheat if we do this, so let's not for once. More cards next turn? I guess. Also more evasion. Think twice! We could dissipate heat, but let's not. We could lunge. 
but neither direction is great. I say front loaded blast twice. Reducing this to three hit points. Yeah, front loaded blast with wall mode. Works wonders. Into draw shot twice. Slaying this thing. On the spot. Plus one hull, plus one max hull. Nine out of twelve. Volatile Vapor, pay in max shields to do three damage right here right now. Well, you know, six in the wall mode. All Battle Reaper, to repair some of that hull. All Bolt, uh, I think Volatile Vapor, let's just deal damage. Cockpit Lock on, I know this one. All the Heat Distiller. Serenity now. Another Elite, please. Duncan! Let's run some circles around them. Well, first of all, let's roll with a heatwave beam. I don't like what the thermometer is reading. Yeah, yeah. You never like what the thermometer is reading. This is an empty spot, so let's ignore that. What, do we just draw cards? Ah, yeah, might as well. Better than nothing. You missed. No, that was a tactical necessity. We'd better move out of the way. Right here to... no, 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 no. Find panic! Into lunge. Into getting rid of the corrupted call. Fine. Heat sink. Prep. <laughs> the ball <laughs> will destroy the asteroid. Oh dear. We can move falls, so this will go one, two, three, fall. Yeah, it's gonna be safe. Fine, so let's move one to the side and just unload upon him. Can't really enter wall mode because he doesn't have segments aligned properly. Got him. That's not the vulnerable spot though. Can't flip this because we didn't activate turbo flip. Unleash the ball and step aside. Give the drills a break, dude. I think we can slug safely. So let's move here. Slug. Serenity goes away. Good. Well, it's not necessarily... whatever. Get rid of all the fumes. And we're fine. I guess we can use wall mode. Aim at this and then at that. Well, and then. Well, aim at both. Table flip. Into front loaded blast. Like a sitting duck. Into options, move out of the way. Serenity now. Fine, step aside. EMP slug, down he goes. Because of course it pierces. 10 out of 13, what do we get? Desperate measures B. So gain two regular shields, three temporary shields, and four points of heat. Oh boy. All think twice, all selective memory B. Choose a, a draw or discard piled card, put it in your hand. Uh, 
instead of choosing to sounds mighty handy as opposed to you know think twice it just uh, gives us whatever then again whatever may just be what we need after all it helps us with reshuffling so think twice it is Nanofiber hole or recalibrator. Heal one after each combat. That's going to be immensely useful considering all the hole we have lost. Or recalibrator. Draw a card every time you miss a shot. Uh, let's try not to miss shots instead. Another artifact. The bottom one? No, the top one. Uh, well, if we go for the bottom one, we can say cut a card or upgrade it instead of going for an enemy. And we want to have as few cards as possible. You know, to keep on reshuffling. What do I even want to upgrade? If anything. And how? Options, I think. Mostly to grant me more movement rather than anything else. You can upgrade the Spalt Orb? You can move the ball! Kinda. Uh, the tiniest of bits, yeah. Isaac would really like the ball. We might want to upgrade Prepel into Prepel A, so we get even more cards. Cockpit lock on. The cockpit is gonna be weak, no matter what. Howdy. Salutations. Upgrade a card. Prepel six points of hole. How? Nice. Next up, a regular than me. Oh boy, it's so tiny. Ugh, no cockpits, of course. And it evades. Ugh, hilarious. Sure, so no cockpit. Therefore, the cockpit lock on. It's utterly pointless. Completely evades left, huh? So it's gonna move two to the left. But then it's gonna... If I activate wall mode, then it's gonna get hit no matter what. Okay, fine. Wall mode. Check this out. Oh, left and right. Fine. Move out of the way. I hate this thing. Hey, the thrusters are warmed up. Careful. Nicey, nicey. They're gonna evade. They're always gonna evade. Fine. Flux. Nice miss. Reminds me of fighting against you guys. Now we have a single evade. Fine. Let's go with options. Oh boy, not good. Lunge to get rid of that rocket. And then what? Gonna be positioned uh, quite horrifyingly. Now we have Gliss, if things go wrong. Oh wait, we flipped it! It's gonna hit no matter what. This is awesome. We can move by two. I think we want to panic. I think we want to panic. Of course we do.
We can dissipate that single point of damage. We don't have to run away. Yeah, speaking of which, we are about to lose one point of max shields if I do this. Uh, it's still worth it, I say. Or we can get rid of the Corrupted Call. It's not that big of a deal. We keep on drawing plenty of cards. Ah, uh, still, whatever. <clears throat> no hull damage. This thing is so annoying, it just keeps on dodging. Draw shot. Wasted shot. I know, but what can I do exactly? Can move over here. Then one, two. And then we'll have to get out of the way, presumably using Gliss. Unless I can barrage to the other side, to the other, in the other direction, which I can't. No, we have two points of evade. Never mind. Hold on, hold on. So first of all, flip this. Left or right? Yeah, I know. <sighs> Heatwave would be useful, but no. Barrage. Pew, pew. Nice shot, Perry. Thank you, thank you. Move out of the way. Oh boy. We have to move over here and flip that. But of course that uh, means that our cockpit will be in jeopardy and we still n will not be out of the woods. It's not dodging this turn though. We can glist to the side. That's one safe way to do this. So we can move fall. As long as we evade this, and we will, we'll be fine. So Gliss to the left. Flux. Move. Flip. Front loaded blast. Draw shot. Keep on reshuffling. It's a reliable way to deal damage, and never mind the Seeker missile did its thing. Escalate B. Exothermic release! Reduce heat and deal one piercing damage. Making it free sounds pretty appealing. Doesn't have to deal a lot of damage as long as it dissipates the stupid heat. <clears throat> so is that what we're going with? Exothermic release A. Yeah, it's free. And it uh, reduces heat. Although, you know, upgrading heat... No, no, no. Upgrading heat sink isn't necessary. Uh, making heat sink free wouldn't be half bad. Well, I can make this free. Whichever I want. Free movement is always welcome. No, no, we're upgrading heatsink. That's the final boss, though. That's the final decision we have to make. In that case, I think making the table flip cost uh, one might be a better idea all you know allowing f f table flip to move uh, three in any given direction might be an even better idea because I want to move anyway I'm most of the time <sighs> what would I use the rest of the energy fall repositioning so might as well have it cost to let it move me further table flip is what we're upgrading howdy hi can I get you anything I would like to upgrade a card To table flip B. Neat. Let's do this. See you next loop! Bye, cat. Alright, we dissipate here. We just need to disable this. We're ready for this! Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Oh, yes, remember. This is concussive, so if we shoot it, this nonsense goes away. We might as well enter the wall mode right here, right now. Now, I know that this uh, ultimately makes us vulnerable over here, but... 
But what? There's not that much we can do. We can flux anyway into Think Twice. Gain those temporary shields. Yeah, let's do that. Wall mode. Flux. We have those temporary shields to dissipate a single point of damage. Come on. Into Think Twice. Get rid of this nonsense. Into nothing we can play. Ah, whatever. Not a scratch, obviously. Wall mode into lunge, I would say. Nice armor, idiot! <laughs> Shame if we ignored it! <laughs> uh, into draw shot. Ah, shooting the armor is a warning shot. Genius. Well, sorry about that. We are also shooting this. So yes, we are shooting some of the armor. It's still worth it. It's gonna take more than that to end this haul. Uh, yes, it is. Yes, it is indeed. I know this is armor. We... <sighs> As long as we want to enter wall mode, we don't really have good options here. Actually, if we launch to the right, we can disable this. Now, granted, we put our cockpit in jeopardy, but we can move out of the way. We also get rid of the heat with Serenity. Serenity? Now. So, uh, we can't use wall mode, then launch, then the MP slug. There's not enough energy. Launch into slug, then. And I'll do it again! Bonus damage because of this. Uh, we haven't entered wall mode, so we're not disabling this. And we gotta move to the side. No whole damage will be sustained for now, but we'll shave off what little we had in the shields department. Hey, lining up the armor dwarf? Great! It always does. It always does, Riggs. We can deploy the orb to destroy the missile. We need to concast this, but we don't have anything to concast it with. Best we can do is prep. And take some damage. No, not really. We can move out of the way. Unleash the ball here. This is the way. Uh, prep or get rid of tra- no, 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 no. Prep. Obviously, prep. More energy, more cards. Fuel problems. There goes the ball. No hull damage. Excellent. Had a missing segment, so I'm not sure wall mode is the way to go. Yeah, and some of this stuff is armored anyway, so Barrage isn't gonna deal as much damage as we would like to. We should absolutely enter wall mode, though. Move aside. Well, not exactly move aside, I guess. Front of the blast is gonna get used. Might as well generate temporary shields. Do we need those temporary shields? Uh, it's better than not having them, I guess. The alternative, if we could also use prep. Yeah, and take some hull damage. I don't look forward to that, fine. We flux. Heh. <laughs> we front of the blast. Yeah, get those fumes. And what, what do we do? Prep for next turn? Is that literally what we're doing? I could roll with Endless Magazine. We have the temporary shields to unsustain basically anything. Endless Magazine it is. We do need those chip shots. Let's get that out of the way right here, right now. We have a turn when we can do this, so we ought to do this.
We can't really get away from this. Uh, well, no, we have the heat sink that will move us here. We have a single point of evade. This is bad. Well, we are going to eat some of this damage, some of this delicious damage that we can possibly dissipate. We can concast that. Yeah, turn that off. Step aside by one. Get rid of the fumes. Get rid of the trash. Unleash the multi-shot. Why? Unleash the multi-shot on this. We're lined up anyway. Uh, and I could have flipped at the very tail end of the turn. Would have been twice the damage. Never mind, though. Never mind. Brace for damage. Uh, you guys sure this co this hole can hold? It can for now. All right, we should be able to manage. <sighs> Wall mode into chip shot. Yeah, let's have the missile do its job. And then we stun. Serenity now. No damage will be sustained this turn. Get rid of the fumes. We should get to that ball, but it's gonna be rough. Okay, double damage from the missile. Excellent. Could try chasing this stupid ball. 17 points of shields left. That's gonna be four. Plus six. It's quite a bit, but not enough. We'd have to out sustain the rest. Okay, where will this, that uh, put us? Five spots. One, two, three, four, five. Endangering the cockpit. Gruesomely. Oh, you know, we could go left. Yeah, but lunge. So we would effectively move one to the side. If we were to move two to the left, which we can't do, that would be snazzy. But I can't flip the lunge, that's on me. <sighs> How do I want this to play out? How can this play out? If I insist on dishing out as much damage as I possibly can, well, I activate ward mode, then lunge. Lunge deals one point of damage here, to the, so that's three. Plus this, so that's three more, that's six. And then nine. It's not quite enough. Yes, and it'll cause us to take six points of hull damage. Which means we'll be at a single one. <clears throat> Wait, table flip lets us flip the lunge, obviously! 
Duh! So we can move five to the left. One, hold on. One, two, three, four, five. We line this up, we take two points of damage. Which is not ideal. Still better than taking damage from this nonsense, I guess. Fine, let's roll with that, I guess. Gives us better evasive options in the future. We can shoot this, hypothetically, it's not that great, it's better than shooting nothing. Right, and we, we move two slots. Alright, let's do this. We're moving away from the ball. Oh, we got Gliss back, thank goodness. We can disable this, dissipate the rest on the armor and be fine. Well, first of all, let's use draw shot. Oh, you know, we can try to go for the juggler, but that's a bit risky. Actually, that's very risky. Gosh! Get rid of the fumes. <sighs> Unleash a chip shot again. Lamad! I have to find a weaker target. Yeah, yeah. Get rid of the corrupted call and the trash. We can flip this, gotta remember, I can flip this. Not a scratch. No, oh, heat wave, it came back, took a while. Do we desperately try to get back to the ball? <laughs> 14 points left. I don't think we should use wall mode, I think we should move to the side, flip this, and try to position ourselves so we take as little damage as humanly possible. May involve glissing to the side. Okay, if we move here, then gliss, then this ends here. The cockpit ends one, two, three. We still take some damage, but uh, it's not as bad as it otherwise could have been. Okay, first of all, draw shot then. Actually, options might also be nice. One point of correction. Yeah, plenty of things would be nice. We can flip this with the chip shot. Options mean we can move twice. Hold on, if we shoot this, we disable this. Okay, so one point for the draw shot. Options, draw shot, chip shot. I hypothetically could ignore this, but I want to flip the missile to deal double damage, to actually deal some damage to the enemy. And then what? Nothing? Wall mode? No. Wasting it? Yeesh. Move, chip shot. Options. Move. Draw shot, and we see what we get. I'll try to move around the armor next time. Ugh, yeah, yeah. But I had to disable the intention. No two ways about that. Draw shot into this, because at least this isn't armored. We also draw cards, which helps with a lot of stuff. And then we flip again, because we can flip at will. The extra damage from the rocket really helps. No scratch. Six points of hole left. Barraging won't do that much considering the fact that they're all mode over there. She'll turn off the intentions, I guess. I think it's significantly smarter to just lunge and deal that double damage. Let's roll with that. Lunge. Nice. Into chip shot. Into draw shot. Oh my goodness. Drake. 
You are growing stronger. Who shall it be this time? Uh, I, I would say Riggs? Hey, can I get a, a burger and large soda? In this realm, all things are possible. He can get a burger and a large soda. Wow. All right. I'm going to head out. Do you not have any questions? Uh, me? No. All good. All good. In fact, th this whole memory thing, I'll pass. Riggs, what is wrong with you? If your memories are not restored, you will be severed from the time stream. Oh, that's bad. It is. Memory 2. T minus 98 days. Ah, uh, yeah, put that crate over here. You got it, bud. What's all this stuff for, anyways? Oh, we're not allowed to talk about it with you. You shouldn't even be this far into the ship. Well, I'm honored to have finally earned your trust. You haven't. Ah. But no one else is certified to drive this forklift. Got it. All right, that's done. I better get headed back. Launch request denied. I'm sorry, what did you just say, Perry? Huh? This is making tacos tonight. <laughs> so, may, so, this, so let me get this straight. Riggs might not have earned trust, but has earned tacos. Stay a few hours. Okay. And Dizzy... Sorry, Dizzy. Um, and Riggs does not understand uh, the, uh, the magnitude of the situation, the, the repercussions, the... Uh, the social implications of what's going on. Riggs doesn't understand many things. Doesn't matter. Success! Excellent. Now, I can't really get Drake's memories unless I'm playing Drake and win with Drake. So if I want to play with Drake as few times as absolutely desperately necessary, perhaps I should have unlocked a memory for Drake over here? I'm presumably going to use Riggs. Uh, yeah, more. So I should just get Drake out of the way. Get Drake out of my system. Either way, this has been a success. An hour, 51 minutes, 59 seconds, 116 combat tons, 14 points of hull damage taken. Ares on the highest difficulty. All of those precious artifacts. All of those cards and all the mistakes that I have made. All the questionable decisions. Oh, oh, and I have unlocked the Llama. Max, a hacker, his cards enhance and exhaust other cards and gamble with hand position. More the randomness? More the risk taking? What's. No! Oh, no! You know, I. My intuition is that I shouldn't have more of these risk-taking lunatics than absolutely necessary. So taking, say, Drake and Max at the same time might not be the way to go. Although I can now go for the fourth ship, win a run without Dizzy Riggs or Perry. Just go with, say, uh, Isaac, Max and Books to not take Drake, something along those lines. I need to win 10 runs to unlock this monstrosity. I don't know, do we want to launch things with the Jupiter? Because if we do, we could hypothetically go with Isaac. We could go completely bonkers and play with Isaac, Max and Books. To see what that's all about. But for now, in case, uh, in case you're seeing this, thank you all so much for watching. And uh, you will see me elsewhere.